Hi friends, uh, we are working on a motor which is a DC motor of course you can see uh, these DC motors are very very much common and they are there in the cars and uh, the radiator as radiator cooling fan they are used these DC, DC 12 volt motors and also they are common in uh, DC fans at home nowadays because we are using 12 volt technology mostly at homes and 12 volt fans are coming which are using this such motor this is a very robust and uh, good quality motor because this is automotive mm, use motor so automotive uh, grade, uh, grade motor you know they are good and they are reliable mm, but at the moment this is bad this is not working so that's why it had been come to us and we will repair this motor i will show you the whole dismantling process as well as the repair process for this particular motor because uh, this has come in trouble so that's why we are going to remove some material as you know uh, somebody had put some uh, glue or some magic type material adhesive type material on the shaft because this is extended shaft this is not the original shaft so um, because uh, you know these shafts are coming out while the motor is turning so that's why somebody locked it uh, using some sort of adhesive over here on the shaft which is i'm uh, scrapping with the help of this blade so from here this shaft has been extended and this new shaft is tending to come out while the motor is running so that's why they put this adhesive which we scratched and i scratched it and i removed it from the shaft because with the adhesive there we cannot remove this shaft uh, this will stuck in the bearing so that's why i removed it now we clean the mess we clean our workspace and uh, uh, then we have to open this motor for the dismantling you need a screwdriver i'm using this uh, screwdriver which is straight screwdriver but it will not work so i'm looking for a small this is electrical tester so with a tester that's small screwdriver mm, with the help of uh, this screwdriver i have to uh, open the locks for this motor they have provided some four or six locks in such type of motors uh, so while we dismantle or uh, we open these locks uh, the tabs or locks then it will be we will be able to uh, remove the back cover and with the back cover the bearing will also come and uh, then the rest of the motor components like armature um, and the front bearing will also come so this way simply we are going to pry these locks uh, while we are opening these locks so this will come here also you can see some messes there because this was an old motor so that's why these messy things will be there and we will clean all mess from the motor and now i'm opening uh, these hinges or uh, locks so from here if we tap at the front so the score will come as you know uh, we just uh, bring this off the cover but the armature will come uh, with the help of some hammer uh, so if I will hammer on the front of the motor uh, so then this will come here if you will see the condition of the spark uh, the, the brushes you know these brushes are very bad in condition you can see uh, this brush has worn out badly worn out to the end even the copper had been come in the brush you can see the copper wire is exposed the lids wire which is there in the copper uh, brush that copper wire is exposed which should not be and these brush brushes should be replaced with intervally and with the good time pass this these brushes should be replaced but uh, unfortunately this motor saw some very bad days and um, very roughly somebody used it and just they run it uh, to the extent that the brushes worn out badly and the motor failed uh, so they don't have uh, further arrangement for the brush replacement so they just uh, put it in garbage uh, now we are going to uh, use a hammer in the front i will tap it like this and then uh, with the tapping uh, this shaft will come loose in the bearing and by this way i will be able to bring this armature out of the motor this is a little bit uh, you know uh, tough job to bring this off but it's not that difficult uh, you can use some penetration oil also wd-40 or something to make it loose so this way it came off you know and uh, these bearings we will see if these bearings will be good we will reuse them but normally they are bad so we are going to replace those bearings uh, 608 number bearing is used small 608 this is tough to 
hard to rotate some material went inside the cup of the carbon material from the carbon brushes it went in so using a hammer and uh, a pry bar or a bolt of such kind we can remove this bearing from its housing and also if we look at uh, the armature the armature is good uh, the armature nut seems to be bad because the winding seems to be good uh, and also the commutator is good uh, the winding color shows that either it is bad or good uh, but let me and give you one another technique i'm going to show you another technique in which we will be able to check the armature up to some extent this is the series lamp technique having a appropriate having an appropriate uh, wattage of series lamp i am using 100 watt but you can use any wattage like 60 or 40 watt bulb incandescent lamp in series of 220 volt to test this this thing so by testing we will what we will do is we have to have no continuity of the windings uh, with the shaft as well as the motor body or core the shaft this should not show any continuity but the wind windings in between there will be a continuity as you can see continuity is there for the winding it is normal it should be but uh, with the shaft it, there should be no continuity uh, so this test shows up to some extent the health of the armature and armature seems good uh, we will use it we will reuse it but uh, cleaning will be required we will make cleaning and also we will put new brushes new brushes we can purchase from the market they are cheaper they are not very expensive and also new bearings will come so with the new bearings and new brushes this assembly will be completed and later in the next part of this video i will show you how we can put the new bearings as well as the new brushes and we will complete the assembly as well. also i will show the testing uh, the running of this motor uh, after completion of uh, brushes and uh, bearings uh, so with the this uh, 608 new two bearings will be required uh, for uh, both of both sides i mean to say the drive end side and non-drive end side two bearings we will put this is of course 608 you can see very easily on the camera that uh, 608 is there inside uh, this is 12 volt 18 watt motor uh, so such a motor is a very good kind and powerful motor we will use this motor in some other application later on i will show you how we are uh, going to use this motor in another application that will be my cooler project and here is another armature i have you know this armature we i will wind because the winding was bad and i removed the winding and the video will come in front of you how we re remove the winding and how we will rewind it again so that video I also i will share this video other part will show the assembling of this motor and the assembling of the carbon brushes as well as the bearings mm, so uh, hopefully these all videos will help you people who are in trouble and who are in trouble with the, their motors their dc motors because dc motors needs too much maintenance so hopefully you will like this video if you like it give a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel press on bell icon so you will get notifications thank you for watching